welcome to my channel. My name's Angela and this is Devon Thread Tales. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today is my one week me made February, so I hope that you enjoy that today. I'm going to be going through the whole of the week, sharing with you what I'm wearing, reflecting on how I feel about those garments. Um, obviously, hopefully they'll all be a ho homemade or you know handmade garments they might not all be but <laughs> um and um what i do or don't like about them i really enjoyed last month's one week me made january in in terms of actually getting it done and filming it and what have you because i definitely pulled out items that i hadn't been wearing and had a really good sort of look and thought and feel about some of the items and why I did and didn't like them and some of them I remembered actually I really do like them and so I think I'm going to wear them more um, one of those being a Nico top just like this one but in white I wear this black one all the time I think it's because of the colour but for some reason I just wouldn't pull the white one out and since that video I've actually now worn it a couple of times so it's been really good that I did that and then there was another item the saltwater slip dress which I wore over this which I'm not happy with lots of people commented on it and said about possibly shortening it or definitely wearing it with a paler t-shirt and I think I'm going to give that a try before I write the dress off altogether and then lastly one of the other dresses was my Estelle dress and everybody's agreed shortening it would be a really good idea so that is something I am definitely going to be doing <laughs> so hopefully I'll have some more insights this month uh, yes this month as well so today like I've just said I've got on the true bias Nico top so this isn't a, a surprise or a new pattern or anything like that but I've just got this on with a pair of jeans and a belt I'm at home today I've got my hair slipped back in a ponytail I haven't got any makeup on or anything just doing some housework and things like that and I just wanted to feel sort of comfy really so yeah quite like I quite like what this looks like if I was to go out although actually the black does pick up every bit of white fluff <laughs> um if i go out later today um then i would just wear this with a jacket you know scarf that kind of thing um it is starting to warm up a little bit so it's not as freezing cold as it has been now if i'll just share with you um a little bit of sewing that i've been doing so in the last well i cut this out several weeks ago in fact i think i cut it out when i was doing my one week me made January but I then didn't do very much sewing on it so I'll show you what I've done I've been making a dress for Amy she wanted a totally plain corduroy shirt dress and I've been using this pattern which is the McCall's M8139 that one there and I'm doing this longer version but without the ties and she didn't want any pockets on it whatsoever so I've got at the moment I've just got pins pinning it together so she's got the side sort of um, slanted pockets in it I've hemmed all the um, all the sleeves and all the bottom of it it's all completely finished bar buttons which is a bit of a shame because she has chosen some buttons and I assured her I'd be able to buy some more because it was from a shop that just sort of sells the same sort of thing all the time and actually I now can't find them <laughs> which is such a shame and I've put in a label which is a little rosy cheeks label I sent her a few pictures of labels and she decided on this one now I'd already made this whole dress up like I say bar the buttons before I put this in and I didn't know what to do about sewing it in I thought oh, I don't really want to hand stitch it because I think it would have possibly looked a little bit messy if I did that but I just mach machine stitched it in and look you can barely see because of I've used you know really well matching thread I'm quite pleased with how that's gone in but yeah so a bit of top stitching um quite pleased unfortunately she's not here so she can't try it on which is a real shame I'm just going to see if I can find the buttons that she wants okay so I find the buttons this is a bit of a plea I suppose I've got four of these buttons because I've got one that I had left over from a different garment and then she decided that she wanted these and I went into the shop and found them but I could only find this packet and you never know somebody might have some of these and if you do maybe I could ask to buy them from you <laughs> I think I need nine or ten which is a real pain um but they're these are very inexpensive little buttons and I thought they were very very sweet and she chose them to go against that so that they had a little bit of something but not you know they're not sort of over the top she doesn't want metal buttons and although these are sort of plasticky they don't look 
like little plastic buttons if you know what I mean anyway I don't know how to put that but yeah so um if anybody does have any of these it'd be really lovely if you could let me know and if you were prepared to part with them and I will pay you <laughs> for them um but yeah so that should be lovely and I'm looking forward to finishing that I don't quite know what to do whether to just be really brave and just do the buttons and buttonholes without her trying on and, and having you know fitting it particularly I think I might be safe in doing that and the reason I want to do that rather than waiting is first of all I'd like her to have it so she can wear it and secondly she's been incredibly poorly so this is for Amy the daughter of mine who knits and um, she's had the flu and has felt really really rotten I mean like proper bedridden kind of thing um, and I just thought it'd be really nice to send that to her and cheer her up so yes so yes today I have been doing a bit of housework I did a little bit more of that dress so it's now at the point where I'm waiting for the buttons um, and I'm going to do a little bit of um, admin work and things like that so I will probably now come back tomorrow when I'm going to work and I will share with you what I'm wearing then so I'll speak to you soon bye Hiya, so I have come back because I forgot I'm doing a sewing Zoom this evening with Karen and it is now, or oh, I'm looking at my watch and there is no watch, look. <laughs> but I think it's about half past ten. We've been yapping away and um, I said to Karen, oh, can we have a little a little video and, I'll, and, I'll, and we'll say hi to everybody. So tonight I have been sewing my Sew Over It Jessie Coating on. I've got quite a long way with it actually because I hadn't started sewing it before this evening and I have put the pockets in which I was I was trying to be really careful because I know that when Helen was doing hers from Stitch Rip Repeat she was having real trouble with her pockets so I was like right take my time take my time read the instructions <laughs> so hopefully they've all gone in okay bless her Helen was getting in a right pickle with them um yes so I've got this lovely green boucle kind of fabric and I'm using this viscose fabric as the lining which I think goes really nicely so I'll switch you around so Karen can say hello and she can show you what she's been making hi Karen hello <laughs> so we've been having a good old zoom tonight haven't we yes we have put the yes. mouse to rights no it's great so I've, um, I've just finished my toile of the all atop by Jane at the dressmaker's closet. So I literally, all I had to do was add the button and loop closure onto the back. Probably not because I can see that. But um, this was my toile version, so that's all finished. And then I've done the sleeves on my auntie's toile for her jacket that I'm making, which is Butterick B6602. So I've got that to send off to her to try on. We are thinking it's going to probably end up too small, but, you know... We shall see. And then I finally cut out the paper pattern of the uh, Paper Theory Zadie Jumpsuit, which is my make for Felicity Fabrics um, for the month of February for my blog post. So I've got the fabric that I need to wash tomorrow and I'm hopefully going to get that cut out tomorrow so I can get started on the sewing. But yeah, we've done quite a lot actually between us, haven't we? So it's quite yeah. good. We've just yapped as well, you know. Yapped and yapped and yapped. And we've even talked about whether or not maybe in the future we might be able to do a bit of a, a social Zoom with everybody. Yeah. Oh, not, well, not, obviously not everybody. <laughs> but we, to, to, <laughs> with as many as people we can fit on the screen. Yes, yeah. <laughs> so keep an eye yeah. out um, because yeah. I think we're going to have a bit of a chat about trying to maybe get a bit of a zoom session in together and inviting people to come and or not us inviting but putting it out and open for people to join if they would like to because we really love having our little zooms don't we we haven't been able to do it for ages and we've missed no, it haven't we first one of 2024 isn't I know, it for us i know and obviously we didn't do it much over christmas so it yeah, has been yeah. ages so we've really yeah. enjoyed this evening we just thought maybe it might be quite nice to invite some other people in so anyway karen sorry i'm just now just videoing really, you yeah, <laughs> So we'll say see you later and I'll see you yep. tomorrow, guys. Bye. Bye. Hiya, so it's Tuesday today and I went to bed very late last night. After I got off the Zoom call from Karen last night, John and I decided to watch the final episode of a series that we've been watching. <laughs> We don't we don't get into TV very much. We quite enjoy just watching a film from time to time. We don't tend to watch lots of series of things. But just recently we have been watching a few series and um, we were watching Trigger Point, which is a ITV series about a bomb disposal unit in the UK. I mean, it's just the most random thing, um, but we've really been enjoying it. We were really 
like quite hooked and um there was just one episode left and we're a bit like oh it's gonna make it a really late night but should we, should we just watch it should we just watch it <laughs> so anyway so i've got up this morning i've got ready for work and i am off in a moment i've decided to wear my hair a bit curly today i've never worn it to school like this before oh so i don't know what that's gonna be like but we'll see um i wonder if people think i'm a you know think it looks strange anyway i am wearing my so over it gnome dress today and i've got that on well i'm going to wear a cardigan with it a black ready to wear cardigan and i'm going to put on some white pumps as well so i haven't got any tights on or anything i'm being very brave i've ironed my clothes for tomorrow and i and i've got a slip and i've got tights and all that kind of thing clearly i i obviously didn't think that through for today but um i think I think it'll be all right because it's it's gone a little bit milder now so i think it'll be okay but yeah so i'm off in a minute to do that i haven't got anything on this evening i've got a free evening so i'm hoping to do a little bit more sewing i really would like to do either a makes video or a plans video to share with you but i've been really busy recently and i've had a few things on my plate which i will share with you a bit later on in this week um so i just haven't had any headspace to sort of like think about that or do that anyway um in terms of this dress i really didn't like this dress when i first made it i thought it was too much of all one color but as time's gone on i've worn it a few more times i actually really like it and i i like what it looks like it, it's strange isn't it sometimes you just aren't used to a style and you just need to you know get used to it i've got it on with a necklace i've just got some little like pearl like earrings in today um and i think that looks okay so yeah i think it's it's quite it's quite a nice look Anyway, it's tiered, it's got one, two tiers um, on it, and yeah, sits around my waist. It's just a t-shirty dress, and in my head, it's easy breezy today, and that's what I need, and that's what I feel like today. <laughs> so anyway, I probably won't share anything more with you today, but I'll come back tomorrow. Bye. Hiya, so it's Wednesday today, and it is, what time is it? It's about a minute past 11 p.m. <laughs> very very late and I'm literally going to go to bed in just a second I've washed my makeup off that I've had on today and all sorts so um I just wanted to share with you very quickly what I had on the reason I haven't recorded before now is because I didn't have time before I left for work this morning and then there was a very quick turnaround from getting home from work making sure tea was cooked and then getting out because my husband and I've been out to see my friend's daughter who was in a performance of Les Mis at her school and we were going to support her and see her so it's been a lovely evening it's been really great um but obviously it's just been a bit hectic <laughs> so I'm just going to very quickly share with you what I've got on today this seems like a really summery dress and obviously we are in the middle of winter at the moment and um I know obviously it's got a bit of a black background so you can sort of mix it up between the two but I wanted to sort of show you a different way of wearing it and also share with you how I felt about this dress today. So the top half of the dress is a Vogue pattern and I can't remember the number but I will put it on the screen. So it's a Vogue pattern and then I have taken off the bottom part of the dress and added four very slightly gathered tiers so the tiers sort of come out as they as they go down but I don't like lots of gathers so the gathers that are around here are very very slight so it's only just a little bit bigger I think I actually increased the length of the bodice as well um, so I'll just show you what that looks like it's very very long um, so it comes right the way down to my feet um, and it's nice and swishy it's got a a zip down the back this fabric is a viscose fabric from Minerva if you look up Minerva and look up viscose chalet and um, it's their Minerva um, range that they do exclusive range so I've had this on and I've had a pair of white pumps on I've just got socks on at the moment I've had a pair of white pumps on and to keep myself a bit warmer what I've done is I've had on a full length slip so you know it's it come you know it comes all the way up to my shoulders so a full length slip and then underneath the slip I've had on a pair of leggings so I didn't want to wear tights I wanted to wear little pumps and feel a little bit lighter weight than if I was having big black boots on and all that kind of thing but if I just worn the leggings the dress would have sort of rubbed up against the leggings you know that you get that weird thing with tights or leggings and then like it all sort of like gathers in when you're walking along <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know if I'm explaining that very well. I think I'm really tired. <laughs> so I've put this silky slip on over the top of it and that's just sort of kept it nice and loose and free flowing. And also it's given me an extra layer of, um, of warmth. So I've had this on, on and off during the day with a black cardigan and I didn't wear a coat today, which I should have because it was pouring with rain. <laughs> I had an umbrella, so it's fine. Um, and I had a, a green scarf on. So during the day, with, if I've been hot or cold, you know, I've just had the cardigan on or off. So I've really enjoyed wearing this and I really quite like the look of it. But um, as a bit of reflecting, you know, a bit of reflection on what I feel about my garments, the only thing I would say about this is every time I sit down, I have felt like the neck on the front is a bit high. And now it's not going to stop me from wearing this. I really like this dress and I feel really nice in it. But I definitely think that I need to do some sort of alteration with this pattern to make sure that this neckline doesn't feel quite as high. So sometimes when I sit down, that actually feels like it's pulling back on me a little bit. So I don't know whether or not I need to do a forward shoulder adjustment because I, I've never had to do that. But the shoulder on this or the seam on the shoulder, I think is just slightly too far back. So I think it just needs to come forward by about half an inch or so and then that might just drop that down either that or what I need to do is I need to redraw the neckline so it's just a little bit lower because it is it has been uncomfortable not painful or anything like that but just I feel like I've been fussing with it all day sort of moving it around so yeah so that's the only thing that I would say that's sort of part of my reflection on this dress and the other thing is is that it is very long which is lovely um but going up and down stairs you have to be really careful make sure you pick it up so I, f I felt like you know you see like in these period dramas and like the maids pick up their dresses to walk up the stairs I feel like I've been doing that all day today <laughs> anyway I'm gonna love you and leave you there because I need to go to bed because I'm really tired <laughs> and I've got a PT session tomorrow at seven o'clock so I've got to get up quite early it's far too late for me to be going to bed <laughs> anyway I'll see you tomorrow bye Hiya, so it's Thursday today and it's about 5.30 in the evening. Um, it's been a fairly busy-ish day. I had a PT session this morning, which thankfully I did manage to get up for, even though I had my late night last night. And then I've done, I've come home, I've done lots and lots of housework in my gym kit, so very stinky. And then I've had a nice shower and got myself ready. I had a friend around for a coffee this afternoon, which was lovely. We were going to go for a walk. But it is the most foul day out there. It is dark, it is raining, it's miserable, it's just bleh. <laughs> so I thought I'd put on a bright t-shirt. So this is an Agnes top, which is a Tilly and the Buttons pattern. It's a standalone pattern, it's not one of her books or anything. And there are lots of different variations to this. You can have like a like a ruched kind of effect like that, or you can have puffy sleeves with like a ruching down it. Some people have made it into a dress. Oh, in fact, I've made it into a dress, I believe. Yes, I have, a summer dress, uh, by adding like the Freya dress, which is part of her, one of her books, the Freya dress and top. I sort of changed the bottom of this so that it extended out into a bit of a, kind of a A-liney type skirt. Um, and it's made out of a jersey fabric. This fabric is from Exeter Machine Company, which I bought a long time ago when I first started sewing. And I saw this fabric and really loved it. And I know this is silly because it is only a t-shirt. No, actually, do you know what? I'm gonna put myself right there. It's not silly. When you're proud of yourself with something, you should, you should own it, shouldn't you? I am really proud of myself. And I remember when I made this, being really proud of myself of doing all the pattern matching down the sides because it was the first time I had done it. And I remember thinking that the neckline along here was really, really neat and that I'd kept it all nice and even. And um, yeah, I just really like this t-shirt. So this is a size three and really I'm a size four. So I was obviously a bit smaller when I made this. Although I do seem to remember thinking that I wanted it to be tight fitting. <laughs> um, so I have got into it today and it's perfectly fine. Obviously, you can see there's no real sort of give in the sleeves. It is uh, not give. There's no real room in the sleeves. It's not loose in any way. It is very, very tight fitting, but it is stretchy fabric. So it doesn't feel restrictive I don't you know I haven't put it on and I'm like oh my gosh it's really tight and I can't breathe um I've got it on with a pair of ready-to-wear jeans so yeah so I'm, I'm okay with the fact that the 
but it's you know a little bit smaller but I think if I was going to make another one I would definitely make it in a size four because that would be sensible um so I've had this on all day today how do I feel about this well I picked this out of the wardrobe because I wanted to wear something that was fairly comfy that I could slouch around at home in and feel kind of okay I thought it was a nice enough garment to have on when my friend came around to visit um, but I am actually going out tonight it's one of our staff um, in our accountancy practice that my husband and I own one of our staff is leaving. How dare they? Why don't they want to stay working for us? <laughs> but they are leaving and um, we're having a leaving do for them. So we're going to go out and have a meal with them. So I don't really know what to wear because I think it's going to be, should I come down? <laughs> I think it's going to be a fairly casual affair, but I want to put on something. I don't want to wear this. I want to wear something different. I'm thinking of wearing my Zadie jumpsuit. I think that's what I'm going to wear. The latest one that I made. I think, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to wear. I can't think what else I would wear. Although I have got a viscose version of the Zadie jumpsuit. Maybe I'll wear that because I haven't worn that for a while. And also, I'm pretty sure I wore my Zadie jumpsuit in my me made January and I don't want to keep repeating things. <laughs> so reflections on this top are that I really like it. Um, I'm really glad I put it out of my wardrobe. I haven't worn it for a while. I need to make sure that I make more of an effort to wear um, me made clothing when I'm at home, when I'm just at home slouching around. When my friend turned up, she had on a pair of jeans and a sweatshirt, or, I mean, a ready to wear sweatshirt. She, she doesn't sew, so all of her clothes are ready to wear. And I did think, I need to make myself some nice sweatshirts because the only sweatshirts that I've got, which I just wouldn't wear at home, are ones that I would wear to the gym. They're like sporting ones and they've got sports motifs on them. And I don't mean things like Adidas, I mean, um, so say like the gym that I go to or the boot camp that I go to, it's got all their logo on. And I wouldn't just wear that in and around the house. I, I think I'd rather have something which is a bit more funky and nice sort of fabric. I've seen um, Michelle from The Sewing Bunny, she's made, um, I can't remember what sweatshirt it was that she made, but she's got this really wild fabric um it's like all greens and navy blues and i think it's yellow and stuff like that um i saw her with it on at a show once or certainly at the um the day after the show oh no it was the dressmaker's ball <laughs> whispering on aren't i I'm so sorry she had it on and i really really liked it i'll ask her if i can put a picture of it up on here but it's that kind of thing that's the sort of sweatshirt i want to wear for being at home you know something a bit more girly casual but not sporty does that make sense you know what I mean so I do need to do that kind of thing and I have I don't think I've really got any fabric to do that so I have to have a little think about what what sort of fabric I would want right I really am wittering on I'm going to go and get changed and get ready for my night out <laughs> and then I'll show you what I'm wearing sorry guys <laughs> Hiya, so I've got changed and I haven't really done anything with my hair. I'm just going to keep it the same. I <laughs> don't, don't really feel like I need to do anything with it. Um, it's all washed and clean this morning, so it's fine. Um, I've got on some really cute little earrings with like these little rainbow beads. I like those. They're quite inoffensive, almost like hoops, but not quite. So I have got on my paper theory zadie jumpsuit which is not the recent one that i've done this is actually a much more summery one and i'm going to wear it with my denim jacket out i don't think i need to go outside very much i think the car park where i park for this meal tonight is quite close by just wondering whether i should put a scarf on with that as well i might put a scarf on as well i'm just going to put on some lipstick i've got this new lipstick which i absolutely love my girls recommended it to me it's a clinique lipstick this is not an advert by the way this is just me <laughs> um but it is um it's called black honey and it, it looks really really black <laughs> but it doesn't go on black it actually goes on and it kind of goes to the colour of your skin and enhances your natural colour of your skin which I think is really nice and I hate wearing sticky lipsticks or lip glosses I just think that's quite a nice colour there you go <laughs> I think I am going to put on a scarf so I'm just going to go and find a scarf I've got green on so I'm guessing green isn't a good idea maybe a little leopard print one would that work is that too much pattern it's quite a lot of pattern isn't it and then i'm going to put on a pair of white pumps as well 
which I think will work. I just need something, I think, because it is a little bit chilly out. So let's put my jacket around there. I think that'll work. Might be a bit too much pattern, but we'll see. Right, I'll go and show you the full effect of what it looks like on. <laughs> okay, so this is the full outfit. I don't know, I think it might be a bit too much pattern, but it's too late now, I'm going out now. <laughs> I'll be taking this scarf off once I get there anyway. So I've got my Zadie jumpsuit. I've got on my little handbag, but I'll take this off so you can see it properly. Um, this is the Zadie jumpsuit. And it's out of a viscose fabric that I got from First for Fabrics um, up in Newcastle. Um, I ordered it online. It's really beautiful fabric, actually. And you can get this in lots of different colours. This is like in an emerald green with these little, I think they're like little white petals or seeds or something. Um, and yeah, it's just a really nice, a really nice jumpsuit. And I've got that on with white pumps, um, which I think is okay. And like I say, I'm just going to put that on with my scarf I haven't got a plain scarf that I think goes with this so this is gonna have to do and my denim jacket da, 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 da. and then my little handbag so I'm good to go so I'm gonna go out and I'll see you tomorrow morning well I don't know if it'll be morning but I'll see you tomorrow <laughs> Hi, yeah, so it's Friday today and it's around about three o'clock. I have had a fairly, fairly busy morning. I went for a spin session this morning, which was brutal, I'm not going to lie. So for anybody who doesn't know what a spin session is, it's a group cycling thing, static bikes, and there's somebody at the front berating you the whole time, telling you to go faster, and <laughs> go harder. <laughs> kind of thing and it was great I do really enjoy them and while I've got this issue with my foot it's great that I can still do something um but yeah I've come away from it and I've I'm actually I've got a bit of a headache if I'm honest I think I probably haven't drunk enough water so go downstairs in a minute and have a big glug, glug of water see if that helps um so I've done that I also have been to a physio today about my foot again so um I've had some treatment on my foot hoping that that will help with the plantar fasciitis and <clears throat> then what have I done I've had some lunch I've been to the shops and I've bought my husband a giant and it wasn't purposeful I didn't mean to buy such a large one but I've bought him a balloon because it's his 50th birthday tomorrow so I've got lots of presents which I've got stacked away over there in the corner of my room which I'm going to wrap in a minute bought some wrapping paper card and all that kind of thing and I thought oh well I'll buy him a balloon I just didn't think about it when I was buying it there was different sizes and I clearly didn't that didn't register when I was buying it and I said to the guy at the counter oh, was it okay could, could you blow that up for me which he did and um it was like that it's it's massive now John's quite upset at the idea of turning 50 so I was thinking just a little balloon would be quite funny <laughs> but this is like that you're 50 today <laughs> goodness knows what he's gonna think when he sees that tomorrow I've hidden it in my daughter's cupboard so that when we go to bed tonight I'm just gonna kind of go oh I've left something downstairs and I'm gonna quickly sneak downstairs and tie it to the back of the chair or something like that I haven't got anything massively planned for tomorrow we've got um we've got the whole day and a friend of ours has offered to come and sort of keep an eye on our dog for us so we are going to go out but quite what yet we don't know we're kind of waiting to see what the weather's going to be like but he was saying that he wouldn't mind a drive because he loves driving and he'd like something to eat so to go somewhere nice and have something to eat and maybe a bit of a coastal walk ish but nothing too much so i don't know well but whatever we do i'll take you along with us anyway and share with you <laughs> so today i have got on a top that my daughter knitted you've definitely seen this before because I've shared it in a previous video but this is the poisoned apple top by Lily Kate Makes France I think I've got that name right but I will obviously put it in the description below as well so she knitted this for me for my birthday back in November and it's a navy blue this is like a a really nice cottony kind of feel of yarn and then she's got this mohair which creates almost like a almost like a, a sheer sort of panel at the top and then at the back it's just got a little um 
loop with a button on it and then I've got these really cute sleeves or they've got these really cute sort of puffy sleeves and if any of you follow me for a while you'll know I don't really like puffy sleeves but these are just right they're not too much so yeah quite like it and it's kind of reminding me a little bit of the um oh, sagebrush top um which is a, a you know sewing pattern and I've made one of those before and it is sort of similar it's got this panel across here it has got a ruffle across and then it's got these little poofy sleeves and when I made it I took a bit of the poof out because I didn't like it quite as big and this top's kind of given me those sorts of vibes now the only thing I will say with this top is today I have felt a little bit like this has been a bit itchy and I didn't really feel like that the last time I wore it I don't know whether it was colder and today I'm a bit warmer and that's what's making it feel a bit itchy, but it's bearable, but I'm not very good with that kind of thing. I know some people love something that's itchy and scratchy. Some people don't care one way or another and some people really don't like things that are itchy and scratchy. And that's me. I don't, I don't like that sensation of something itching me a little bit and it's just around where my collarbone is. So it's a bit irritable and I don't know whether or not it's the perfume I've put on or the washing powder or if it is just this mohair section but I do I, I really want to wear it because obviously my daughter made it for me and I absolutely love it I think it's really sweet obviously I've got it on today just with some ready-to-wear jeans um, and, a, and a belt and I did I did put that on this morning with just a pair of pumps which looks okay it's I just need to be comfort comfy and I I was darting out of the house it was the quickest thing to grab so <laughs> Anyway, so that's what I've had on today. I just wanted to very quickly reflect on last night. Now, I shared with you the um, Zadie jumpsuit that I put on. It was the green one. Absolutely gorgeous fabric. And I really like the Zadie jumpsuit pattern. And a friend of mine, I don't think she shared it yet, so I'm not going to say, but a friend of mine has made the Zadie jumpsuit as a twirl. And it's made me fall in love with the Zadie jumpsuit all over again. Not that I wasn't in love with it, but I've, I've just seen it on her and gone, Ooh! I think I want to make another one now but I will say because I this is this is all about these sorts of videos are all about me reflecting on how I feel about the garments that I've made etc and I will say that the Zadie that I had on last night I don't love now previously and I'll put a picture in here this is the Zadie jumpsuit that I made most recently out of an Indian cotton and oh my gosh I just love 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 this version of this Zadie jumpsuit and now I'll put another picture in here and this is a picture of my first Zadie jumpsuit which is in really cheap fabric but it's a very summery version and I'll also put a picture in of the Zadie that I had on last night and I don't know what it was maybe I just didn't feel great last night I don't know but I went out last night and I just didn't feel that great in it. And maybe it's something that I just need to wear with sandals in the summer. And I was going out for an evening out and I didn't feel quite as if it was dressy enough. Maybe that's what, what it was. It's not something that I'm thinking, oh, I need to get rid of it because I don't like it. I just, it didn't feel right for the occasion last night. In terms of how it fit and how it felt, it was very, very comfortable. But there was just something about it that made me think, just doesn't feel quite right and I don't know what it is I can't put my finger on it um obviously I've shown the picture of all three of the the Zadies that I've got here love your opinion on on that and maybe if you can think of why I wouldn't be so comfortable in it but yeah I just felt a little bit like oh once I was out I don't think I did this but I'm wondering whether I was comparing myself to other people and what they were wearing it was quite a range. So the lady, one of the ladies that was leaving, she had on a really nice dress. Obviously, none of them sewn. They're all ready to wear. A really, really nice dress. So she was quite dressed up. And then there was another lady that just had jeans and a roll neck top and a bodysuit on, but still looked like extra cool. <laughs> really liked it. And I, I don't know, I, I always felt like a bit old fashioned. That's how I felt in it. I just didn't feel quite right. Just didn't quite feel quite right. And I can't put my finger on it, but yes. So those are my reflections on my Zadie from last night. So I'm going to go now and wrap a whole load of John's presents and I'll see you tomorrow for whatever I do with John during the day. Hopefully we go somewhere picturesque and I can share that with you if it's not raining because it's been foul here recently. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Hiya, so it's Saturday today and it is John's 50th birthday. He's in a slight um, 
slight sad mood. <laughs> no, he's not really, but he's like, like I can't believe I'm 50. <laughs> so we've been out this morning. We had um, a lovely breakfast in a place called um, The Dome, which is a, um, a building that's on the hoe. It's like a great big glass dome and it looks out over onto Plymouth Sound and onto Drake's Island. And that was really nice. We had a big fry at breakfast, which was lovely and some hot chocolate and coffee, etc. Um, and we've popped home. John's sister's been out to see him, which has been really lovely. And and we're going to go out this afternoon. John just wants to go for a nice drive. So we're going to go to a place called Tavistock and just have a little bimble around. There's some nice cafes and things. And there's even a fabric shop. I have to go and visit. But anyway, I have got on. Oh, oh here's John <laughs> with his big 50. Oh, uh, happy so, birthday to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and John, John oh, oh, my, our daughter gave him a cat. Come and show them your hat. Obviously, this is not handmade, although I have to say a very lovely lady called Alison um, has given me a pattern <laughs> to, um, to to make this. <laughs> so I might even make you another one. But you like your hat. I love it. <laughs> anyway, that's John with his 50th birthday. Lottie's coming to say hello as well. Are you going to say hello, Lottie? Say hello. So we've all come today. <laughs> anyway, so today I have got on my closet claw black claw closet core blanker flight suit, which is in this grey, grey blacky denim. Um, it's ever so slightly got a stretch to it, but it doesn't make any difference to the fit of this because it's not it's not there's no negative ease in this whatsoever this just fits me as it as it is it's got the belt loop on there and i know this these videos are all about reflecting but i've worn this such a lot and i just flipping love this i just love it so much and um, the only thing that i would change about this is i i can't remember if i no i made it exactly the size and, and how it came out of the packet of the pattern and um, the only thing that I possibly would do and I don't want it to be very much is I might very slightly increase the depth of the crotch when I make it again because I absolutely will make it again and when I'm wearing it and I'm sitting down and I'm moving around and all that kind of thing it's completely comfortable not a problem at all but when I go to take it off I do kind of have to go and if I'm at home and on my own well you know if I'm here with just John I'll unzip it and say oh, can you just can you just pull it off me because <laughs> it's just a bit awkward but generally it's fine I think I just maybe if I just had that slight extra bit of room and I'm talking like half an inch because I don't want I don't want it to be sort of down here and it fits and looks so nice I am really really pleased with, with what it looks like and I'm loving the idea of some sort of maybe linen based fabric to make one for in the summer because I just think this would be so nice you know on those days where it's not boiling hot um which we don't get many of those in the uk to be fair but on the days when it's you know sunny but not raging hot then i, I think something like this would be lovely but obviously in the denim would be a bit hot so i'm gonna wear this today <clears throat> when we go out in a moment i'm gonna wear this with my um very old scarf and i'm gonna put on my Oh, is it Friday Pass and Company? Oh, it's free. Yes, Friday Pass and Company Ilford jacket. Because I wasn't quite sure what to wear with this. I have worn this before and popped my Jesse Cotagon on by Sew Over It, which I love. And I'm making in the middle of making a second one. There's nothing wrong with the coat, but the style of it with this just looks really wrong. So I know it needs something shorter. And I actually think something along this length with this would look really good as well and i have got the pattern and fabric to make um like a bomber jacket i think it's a sew over it one but just for the time being i'm wearing this and i love this jacket it's really nice i have had a bit of a love hate relationship because it's quite shapeless and so for a long time i haven't worn it but i've put, been pulling it out an awful lot more recently and i do just love the color of it it's nice if you've got jeans on and you just want a a soft throw over jacket it is a really nice a really nice jacket to wear it's very casual it's very easy to wear I don't think I've ever worn it done up but it does have have these poppers on it and I made this it was part of a Guthrie Garney um sewing society kit this this particular jacket um so now I've got the pattern I like the idea of of maybe making another one now that I feel like I like it more but anyway, that's what I'm wearing today. I'm going to put some white pumps on, but we're going to go and I'll see you later. Bye. 
Hiya, so it's Sunday morning, last day of my one week me made February. Yeah, that is the month we're in, isn't it? <laughs> So we had a lovely day yesterday for John's birthday and um, I'm going to get dressed in a little bit and I'm going to tell you all about that. But I just thought I'd very quickly share with you what I've got on today. Um, I've got on my Me May pyjamas. I love these PJs. They're very silly. They're in very childlike fabric. Um, these, this grey fabric with these little smiley clouds on or dreamy clouds on. Um, I got this fabric from... Truro Fabrics, I think it was, uh, quite a while ago, so I don't know if they would have it in stock now. Um, it's just a cotton jersey. This is the Linden sweatshirt by Grainline Studio, and I know you've seen this before, but these are the um, True Bias Hudson pants as well. So <clears throat> they've got cuffing around the bottom, cuffing around the waistband, and then down here. They're quite a tight fit. Well, not not tight but they're a snugger fit kind of trouser and then it's a raglan sleeve sweatshirt like this so yeah i um i really like it i have done it in much thicker fabric which i've sh shared with you before so here we go i've done it in this which is like a really fleecy fabric and i made made these and the ones that i've got on in exactly the same size and it didn't make any difference with the sweatshirt, but because the fabric was so much thicker, the trousers still fit, but they are definitely a bit of a snugger, snugger fit, whereas these just feel slightly looser, but still sort of close fitting. But I really, really love these pyjamas. They are my favorite. I am just about to get changed into my gym kit. I'm gonna go to a Pilates class. I'm gonna go and stretch and breathe and all that kind of thing and <laughs> it's going to feel lovely then I'm going to get changed and we're all going out for a big old knees up with John's family for his 50th so I will be back in a little bit to share with you what I'm wearing when I get changed to go out this afternoon. Hiya so I'm back from Pilates sorry this is a bit weird I'm, I'm sat by my bed but it's one of those beds that lift up so that's what you can see and I will explain in a moment so I'm back from Pilates I'm feeling very zen I'm feeling very stretched and it's really helped my back. I don't particularly have back issues, but sometimes you feel a bit achy and a bit creaky and yeah, doing the Pilates really helps. So I've got my bed lifted up because, I've, like I say, I'm back, I've done lots of housework and, and what have you. And now I'm going to get changed, I'm going to have a shower and get changed. And I'm looking, this is a bit of a mess actually, I'm really glad you can't see this properly. Because <laughs> it is really, really messy under here. I haven't got enough space in my wardrobe to keep all of my all of my clothes, which that makes that sound like oh, I've got so many clothes. <laughs> it's not like that. I've just got a very small cupboard. So I keep my winter clothes out in the winter, summer clothes packed away and then swap over. You know what I mean? And I know I'm not the only one that does that. Lots of people do that. And I was looking in my wardrobe to see what I could wear for this meal this afternoon. And I am a little bit in a dilemma of what to wear because I I want to wear something me made, which would be really nice to do. But I also am feeling a little bit like it, everything's a bit dark and dreary. You know, that whole that whole winter vibe thing. And I feel like I just want to feel a bit brighter and a bit sort of more vibrant but at the same time I don't want to get cold so I was I've lifted up my um my bed to see what's under there to see if there is anything that I feel might be appropriate that I can wear I'm not really sure that there is if, I, if I'm honest I have pulled out this which is my my Shelby dress sorry I had a moment then I literally had complete brain fog and could not think what it was called this is my Shelby dress that I made last year and it's really nice and summery but obviously it's got short sleeves it's very long but then I'm thinking I'll have to go bare legged with that won't I so I'm not really sure about that but that would be quite nice because I would feel summery in that so that would be good I have got in fact I'll go and get it hang on a second I have got this dress which is the new sew over it Margot dress which I haven't actually shared with you properly on here yet, but I did put it on my Instagram. Um, so it's their new pattern. It's like a raglan sleeve dress and that's quite bright, but that's got thicker sleeves. Obviously it's got the black background, so it's still a little bit wintry, but maybe that might feel quite nice. I can't decide. Anyway, I just thought I'd, <laughs> I just thought I'd share with you that I'm having a bit of a moment about what do I wear? I know, I know there's bigger things in life to worry about than what you're wearing. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna have a shower 
and I'm gonna, I think I might try that one on first, see how I feel in it. And if that doesn't feel quite right, I might go to this, but oh my gosh, is that, does anybody else feel like this? I cannot wait for the winter and these horrible, grisly, yucky months to be over and for us to have a bit of brightness and a bit of sunshine. It is brighter today, I have to say, but it is quite cold and windy. But I just need that nicer weather to come to feel to feel good again. <laughs> anyway, I shall check I'll shower and change and then I'll share with you whatever it is I decide to wear. Hello! So I decided to go with the True Bias Shelby dress. I just felt like it was brighter and I felt like I needed something that was a bit cheerier. So here we go. <laughs> so it's the True Bias Shelby. I've worn it and shown this to you before in a previous makes video. It has a buttoned down front. It's got um, princess seams along here and it has a little tie at the back as well just to cinch it in a little bit. I put different sleeves on it so the sleeves that normally come with it are sort of straight sleeves and I just put slightly fuller sleeves with a bit of elastic around them which are okay but I think in the future I possibly would do them fuller and then not have that so that they are floaty or do the straight sleeves. I They annoy me a little bit. <laughs> if I'm absolutely honest, because they kind of ride up and I feel like I have to pull them down all the time. Hopefully I won't be too cold today. Um, we are going to a restaurant, so hopefully it will, you know, it'll be warm enough while we're in there. But yeah, I quite like this dress. I'm glad I've pulled it out. I tried this on before I put, or, you know, before attempting to try the other dress on. And I knew as soon as I put it on that this is what I wanted to wear because I just wanted something a bit brighter. The only thing I will say is I have noticed, I think I need to readjust where that button is because clearly I've I've put the button too close to where the button holes are. So I've got a little bit of a gapey bit, but I haven't got time to do that now. <laughs> We've literally got to go in about 10 minutes. So I was going to tell you a bit about yesterday. I'm not going to share the fabric that I bought yesterday at so much more because... Um, I'm going to share that in a, in a fabric haul. <laughs> so we went to Tavistock. It was really lovely. We went into the indoor market that was there and it was it's such a lovely place. It just sells lots of craft items and we didn't particularly buy anything. In fact, I don't think we bought anything at all, but it was really nice just to look around and have a little bit of, bit of a bimble. And we went for some coffee and cake. And, uh, and then obviously we did go to so much more as well, which was lovely. I mean, great treat for John on his birthday. <laughs> Bless him, poor thing. He's probably like that, really. But no, he said he actually had a really nice chilled day. So that was great. So we're off in a minute to go and have a meal with the rest of his family. We're going to a really lovely place called the Dartmoor Lodge, which is at Ashburton. And it does very nice carvery. So we're going to go there and um, fill our faces. <laughs> So I think that's going to be just about it from me for this week. I really hope that you've enjoyed joining me for the month of February. Do let me know if you have any favourite garments that I've worn this week or ones that you think stood out above the others or that you don't think suit me, that kind of thing. Let me know if there's any garments that I've worn this week that you also own and your thoughts on them, whether you like them, dislike them, etc. And have you tried this? Have you tried to pull out items that you don't normally wear to assess what it is about them that you do or don't like? Anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you there. Have a good week, everybody, and I'll speak to you soon. Take care. Bye. Mm -hmm.